there everybody welcome to the color passion channel i'm kim gow from color passion and uh, i had a request from one of our lovely customers samantha cunningham and she has been requesting uh, that we do something with the high build so today i'm going to do that i'm going to cover off um, with the high build uh, we'll do something with some cheese boards maybe with that and then i'm thinking we'll do some dot art just to show you that and with that, I'm going to give you a taste of what is to come with some new powder colors. They are gorgeous. So uh, I thought I'd do that today as well. So we will do it with the high build, um, just to show you some ideas with that and what we can do with the high build. Because high build, um, after 20 minutes, you can actually put the next layer on and it's thick. Uh, and it's it's really great for geode work, for example, or dot art, or somewhere um, where you know you want to have that raised uh, surface, and it's fantastic. So, okay, without further ado, let's go and see what we can do with the high build. Okay, everybody, here we are. Um, I've got the board all set up. I have mixed the the high build. Uh, part A and part B. I've stirred it for three minutes. I've put uh, just a small mixed amount here because I just want to do the edges. Um, and I'm thinking I will put some Max Gold Sparkle because it's beautiful and sparkle. And I'll put that into the mixture here. And mix that into it. It's absolutely gorgeous putting quite a bit in because I want to I want it to be seen okay so now I'm just going to start off to move it slowly because there's little bits flying because it's very light and then once it sort of gets all mixed in with the resin then we can stir it a bit faster And what I'm going to do, as it's mixed, I'm going to put it actually into a, uh, sorry, like a piping bag, which I've got the disposable ones here, which are really good. You could just use um, a little freezer bag on the corner or like a Ziploc bag. You could pop it into that and cut the corner off and that will work equally as well. Okay. So it's mixed in here now. And now, I'm just going to pour it into the bag. Actually, it might be easier to do it this way. So, put it a little bit like so. And then I will simply spatula it in. Now, we're going to have way more than I'm going to need for this board. I might have to do something else with it, but anyway, we'll see. Okay, so I've pretty well scraped all of it out. Pop that to one side. And pick it up. And we want to make sure that it's just pushed down to the bottom of the bag, ready, so that when when I skip the bottom, it's ready to go. So I've just twisted that around and I'm going to hold that and then I can just squeeze it gently. Actually, I'm right at it, so it'll be with this hand to put. I've just got to think about where I'm going to put it. What I want to do is I want to have it on the edge so that um, I'm going to let it cure, then I'm going to put the normal resin on and it won't run. And that's what I wanted to demonstrate one of the uses we could use this high build resin for. I actually thought maybe even sort of, you know, around there as well for something a bit different and they could put like a different color perhaps on the outside there I'm um, still thinking about that so I'll just get the scissors and snip the corner gosh where are they gone sorry I should have had those out there to go all right <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put maybe about there because we don't need a big amount 
Then what I want to do is I want to test it first. Okay, good. On the mat I've got there. Okay, so um, I'm just going to start here. And I'm just going to go gently, gently. Across to the edge. Then I'm thinking, this is what I was thinking before, I could sort of come down and off. And then maybe on the other side here, I could sort of do a similar kind of thing, but smaller. So I don't want a big blob on the end there. So I'm just gently manipulating that with my finger so it can run over the side. Naturally run over that side there. So I might actually just put it so that it it kind of does run down the side a bit because when the resin is on the top and it runs down, it's going to run over the side. So I want to basically continue that on. And I don't want sort of like a, a big blob on the end though. That's why I'm just spending a little bit more time getting that right. I'm sorry, I hope you can see it. It's just, oop, it's just a little bit awkward getting this down. Oops. And then I'm just going to, uh, again, and I have to just make sure that I catch it. And this one's actually run down a little bit anyway, but I just want to make sure that it's even. And also the same with this little piece here. And that's going to blend in so that'll be fine and then that one's fine okay so i'm just going to basically leave that now maybe just a smidge more on this one and i'm going to let it cure and then i'll come back and i'll do the next bit of resin and it'll certainly be something a little different for you but um it's something that is quite easy to do i've just got to think about what i'm going to do now with uh, now that i've made up this lovely gold what else I can do with it. So I'll have a little think and I'll pop back. Okay, everybody, I found this other board which I actually wasn't happy with. So um, it was done ages ago, actually. And I thought, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna run this around the edge, obviously after it's cured. And I'm just gonna run along so it gives it an edge. And then what I will probably do is run a clear coat talking and not concentrating a clear coat once this is set so I think that that would look um, quite nice and I'd feel happier about it as well again just sort of just letting it just slip over the side a bit there I'm just going to pop just a smidge more along here because I went a bit wonky you don't want wonky I mean you can uh, obviously come back and I will do that, come back and fix it up in a minute. The other side, I'll pick this up and turn it around for you. We've got the other end, so I'm also going to do the same with that. I'm liking that improvement so far. And as I say, I'll um, run over with a, once it's all cured, I'll run over with a flood coat. So when I say flood coat, I mean just a clear coat of resin. Pop this back the other way again. And what I'm gonna do, actually I think, the best way to do this would be to use a silicon spatula. Just seeing what I've got here. Uh, just to make sure that we've got it all nice and neat. I don't know if this is going to work or whether this other one stirrer here might be better. I'm just going to push that along into there. Just to straighten up that line a bit and also here. It's 
a bit thicker, but that's okay. Just gonna pick up a little bit more because that's thinner there. Just a bit that slipped off. And hopefully that will make that look nice and even. There we go. Just neaten it up a little. Good. Okay, well, we'll wait and see how that ends up uh, once it's cured and I've put the flood coat on. Okay, everybody. I found this other board which I actually wasn't happy with. So um, it was done ages ago, actually. And I thought, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run this around the edge, obviously, after it's cured. And I'm just going to run along so it gives it an edge and then... What I will probably do is run a clear coat, talking and not concentrating, a clear coat once this is set. So I think that that would look um, quite nice and I'd feel happier about it as well. Again, just sort of just letting it just slip over the side a bit there. I'm just gonna pop just a smidge more along here because I went a bit wonky don't want wonky I mean you can uh, obviously come back and I will do that come back and fix it up in a minute the other side I'll pick this up and turn it around for you we've got the other end so I'm also going to do the same with that I'm liking that improvement so far. And as I say, I'll um, run over with it, once it's all cured, I'll run over with a flood coat. So when I say flood coat, I mean just a clear coat of resin. Pop this back the other way again. And what I'm gonna do, actually I think the best way to do this would be to use a silicon spatula. Just seeing what I've got here. Uh, just to make sure that we've got it all nice and neat. I don't know if this is going to work or whether this other one stirrer here might be better. I'm just going to push that along into there. Just to straighten up that line a bit and also here. It's a bit thicker but that's okay. Gonna pick up a little bit more because that's thinner there, just a bit that slipped off. And hopefully that will make that look nice and even. There we go. Just neaten it up a little. Okay, well, we'll wait and see how that ends up uh, once it's cured and I've put the flood coat on. Okay, everybody, I have mixed up uh, the resin. We're using the uh, Color Passion uh, Fast Cure Resin, AMB, <coughs> excuse me, uh, because I know that in about three and a half hours that'll be set, so I'm happy with that. So the colors I've decided to use are the Red Robin Luster. Uh, we'll have some soft gold. Um, we may put a little bit of top cell white in and then we've got the uh, the ebony black and I've added a bit of gold in with that because I couldn't find my other uh, which is the, uh, the new metallic sorry the um, ebony gold metallic um, I couldn't lay my hands on it because I've had to put everything away for an electrician today so uh, I got this one and I've just added some gold which is you know virtually the same all right so i'm just going to pop 
some into the container. Uh, I won't go in there just in case it dribbles onto that board. Okay, I'll leave it at that. So with our, our um, well, we'll call it ebony gold luster, but ebony gold, sorry, metallic. Actually, the first thing I should do is I've got that there for a reason, and that is to make sure that my board is level. So it's actually not. So what I need to do is get a couple of these great little, they're actually tile wedges, and you can get them from your local uh, hardware store. And they're just like little wedges, and then you can look at it and just push it to where you need it to go to make sure that everything's level. No, nope, no need to put one on the other side as well. It might be a little bit of a pain to do this, but it's very important Oops, that you do it. Oh gosh. Sorry, it's over the other side here and I'm battling to see where I put it. Never mind. Right, there we go. I think we're right now. Oh, now I've gone, I think, too far. Gosh. Put one again and see how we are. Actually, that's perfect. And that's perfect. Good. Okay, we're good to go on that, that count. Now, what I'm going to do is put... don't need a lot of black anyway, because a little bit of black goes an awful long way. There's a very strong pigments, in particular the black. Just giving that a good mix, making sure that the paste is mixed up thoroughly with the resin. Okay, so that's that one. Then we're going to pop in this gorgeous red robin luster. Oops, one that's not open yet, so obviously grabbed a new one somehow. Anyway, that's okay. I certainly don't mind opening a new one for you guys. So what I want to do is stir it. We've always got to mix it if it hasn't it's been sitting for a little while, and no doubt this one has been, just to make sure that everything's all mixed up and if there's anything that's separated, it's all captured and fine. So I've just wiped off the back so I don't have a lot there. And now I'm just going to mix it in. Gorgeous colour, this it truly is, especially when it hits the light. Just gorgeous. Okay, now that's our red robin for luster. Then um, I wanted to add a little bit of the soft gold just to swizzle it over. Rhonda likes my word, don't you? Lovely Rhonda. It's a kimmy word, swizzle. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to be fixing that around gently to begin. And then faster once it's all combined because I don't want to be breathing in that loose powder. And this will uh, rise to the surface. So there we go, that's those three, which is gorgeous. I don't even know if I need white to tell you the truth, but um, I might just put it into the other cup anyway. And once I've poured the first bit, perhaps I'll, I'll see. I do tend to use uh, white a lot, so maybe it's nice just to not have it, but we'll, we'll see what it looks like. All right, now here we go. So. What we're going to do first, we've got black, the gold, and the red. So I'm thinking I might add some more red on the outside. I've got more, a little bit more red probably than the than the black. So what I might do is just sort of pour it onto this edge here. Just coming over like so. 
I'm going to have red the other side as well, but I just want to have straight red on this side. Yeah. I might just have to tidy that up a bit in a minute. Okay, there we go. And a little bit over to there. Okay, and then I'm thinking I might actually also do the red on this side. do want to make sure that obviously all that side edge is covered so I'm just gonna bend over a little and just have a look okay so I need to come up this way a little bit more okay I should be enough for that now what I want to do Hmm, maybe put some red down first, then I can put the black over the top. It probably doesn't really matter to tell you the truth. So, you know, we can just do whatever. Up there, and then we'll add some black. Red and black are such a lovely combination together, aren't they? red Again, I want that side nice, so I want to make sure that it's coming over the edge and I've got a nice, neat edge on the side. Oops. Okay, and then we've got the other side as well to consider. Not so much on that one because of the way the angle that I put the gold on. Just gently, just making sure that I've got the resin, coloured resin, up to that line. Got quite a bit that's come off, so I'm just grabbing that to fill up any of those gaps. Making sure that in this little hole here that everything is covered. Okay. I'll put it about there now. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Just a smidge there. Okay. Got a tiny bit of red here that I just need to touch up a bit. Just 
good. Now, I'm happy with the way that's looking. We'll have the baby sit and touch up just a little bit. So if you're wondering what I mean when I say baby sit, it means watch it. And, uh, you know, if you need to just adjust something, then you do. All right, so we've got our red and our black. I'm actually thinking I'm not going to put white on there. I'm actually thinking I'm just going to swizzle it with a bit of the gold. Like so. Don't want to overdo it. So. And we'll just see how it goes. Right. Now, I've got going to have my heat gun just on low. Moving it around. So I'm actually feeling pretty happy with this. I don't want to overdo it. So I think that this is probably okay. Might just this little bit here. Just come back a bit with that. Hmm, okay. Maybe just here where I drop just a little bit. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now and just keep an eye on it and see if there's anything else I need to do. I might just neaten up, because it's on an angle, the resin is, has fallen over the side a bit and over the top of it. So I'm just neatening that up and I'll just do the same with this side here. And then that's this piece done. I'm just going to let it sit and cure and then we'll move on. I think I'll mix up some other, just checking over here, um, I think I'll mix up some of the high build and we can uh, get organised and do a high build play, especially for Samantha because she's asked a couple of times. So Samantha, this is going to be for you. We get to it. I just like to neaten things up, which is what I'm fiddling around with now. I just think taking a little bit of extra time to neaten things up. I just think it's 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 a much nicer result. Oops, just with those you know little details. Okay, I'm thinking that's probably okay. Get off that bit. If I had gone straight over, it would have obviously been easy, but because I've gone on an angle, the resin is not flying on an angle, it's going straight down. But I think we're just about right now. And I may have to come back and just wipe this again, depending on how the resin has rolled over. But that looks pretty neat. Good. All right, then, let's leave that. And uh, I'll be back in a moment once I've got the other board uh, sorted and the high build resin mixed up. Okay, everybody, I have uh, mixed up my resin. Now, this resin is really thick. So just bear that in mind that it's supposed to be, so, so it's going to hold its form. I've just got a little board here. I've got uh, the level to make sure that it's level both ways, which is, is. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop these um, piping bags, disposable piping bags, 
just into a cup so that it makes it easier to pour into it. And you can get these online. Sorry, I'm trying to see how I've done it. Just like that there. And I mean, you could do things. you could do a lot uh, with dot art on shore. Um, mine's just going to be very basic today, basically to show you um, how to do it with this product, and also to show the new colours. So it goes off really quickly. If you can do it in another layer in 20 minutes, you know that you probably haven't got a real lot of working time. So, bearing that in mind, I might just do perhaps four colours now. Uh, let's see how we go. Um, sorry, just trying to find some other, other little cuts so that we can mix it up and do it. Right. These are just the... Um, paper cups I use which I find them really really good because you can squeeze them as well which is great um, okay so yeah because I need to mix up obviously the different colors so we'll do that first then we'll pour them into there so perhaps move those to one side Oops. and put these up so you can see them all right So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, four colours now and then I'll come back in a little while after it's set up a bit so that I can do the next layer over the top so you can see. As I said, fantastic for geodes to do your line work and I have definitely uh, used this for that purpose. we go. Pop that to one side. Now the colours. I love them. All right so this first one is blush rose. It is so so pretty but I just love all these colours. Just mixing it slowly to get it all mixed in with the resin. not loose anymore and then just give it a good mix. That is so so pretty. Blush rose. Okay so that's our first one. Then we're gonna have decided on the bottom. This one is called, it's a gorgeous yellow, and it's called sweet corn. I just had some in these containers to bring them home to have a play. See how that's just, I'm just slowly stirring. Because it's so thick, this might take a little bit longer. And once it's in, get a good mix. Okay, there you are, gorgeous. A blob there, what's the blob from? Oh, what that's from? <laughs> I don't know. Gosh, didn't expect to find that. I don't know what that is. Must have been in the bottom of the container, I think. Anyway. There you go. All good. Okie dokie. Let's 
sweet corn. Now the next one we're calling pumpkin. Which again is so, so pretty. It's not a really bright, um, strong orange. It's just a really lovely pumpkin colour. Again, just slowly mixing. See, I'm too excited. I just want to get into it. <laughs> okay, so that's our pumpkin. Gorgeous. All right, so that's those three. Um, I'm just going to get the paper and take this off. Because it's a white background. Um, there we go. Just wanted to remove it. So I'm not. If, I mean, I could if I had. If, if I was doing a proper art piece, I'd probably do a colour, not with the thick one, but with a normal resin, all over, and let that cure. Then I would come back and then do the dot art over the top. But for this uh, exercise today, it's really just showing you. Uh, yeah, what we're doing. Okay, that one there, that one there. Right, this one I did want to use. This one is so unusual, it is amazing. It's sort of a, if you can see it there, it's like a, a greeny grape colour, or grape, grapey fern colour, which is why it's called grape fern. It's just really unusual. I'm looking forward to playing around with that, actually this one so that when the light hits it you've got like a green it's like a two-tone like a color change so once I stir this around a bit you'll see what I mean pick up sort of that green hue when it hits the light but it's a very unusual colour okay so um, I think we're going to leave it at these four for now um, I almost could use a bigger board to be honest because I anyway I'm just trying to think how many dots this will do and I've only got a little board so I might let's see what else I've got here. I've got a um, a clock board, so I guess I could do it on that and could make a make a clock out of it. Um, no, I won't. I'll just have to be patient and let's do it this way. All right. So and and, and I could just go straight from the spatulas onto there, but I'm not because we're going to pipe them. We're just putting into the bottom there. If you would like us to stock something like uh, these wonderful little piping bags, disposable ones, let us know in the comments down below and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so. Oops, Heat. We're just going to push it down to the bottom. I don't need it to go right to the bottom because I'm going to cut it off anyway shortly with some scissors. So I'm just going to put that there for now and I'll go on with the next one. The luster on these new powders, it's a different brand altogether than the one we've been using, is totally amazing really lovely goes so well with our color passion resins both the ultimate as well as the last cure resin okay that's our pumpkin. Okay, I'm just 
just going to squeeze it. sweet corn. Oh, I love sweet corn. It's beautiful. We've had some really lovely fresh ones lately and oh so sweet. Beautiful. don't have a lot of this high build product in stock and I don't know if we're going to continue to stock it or not so if you're interested uh, be quick so I think there's maybe two of the large and two of the small kits and that's it I mean if um, the company that we can buy them from if they'll allow us to order you know we can but they may want us to order all the other things that they have and we don't want to so, but we'll, if you're interested, we'll definitely follow that up and see how we go. All right, so let us know. Okay. This is our grape burn. I'm doing a decent size circle. I don't want to dribble it everywhere. Oops, gosh. <laughs> I shouldn't use it how I did it last time, I can't remember. If you're careful, you'll get beautiful, um, perfectly round circles. But I'm rushing it a little bit, which is probably not helping. I'm just going to put that here. Okay. Right, so I'm going to just put that to uh, one side. Maybe I'll pop that back into the cup and see how we go. Now we've got the orange. I might actually even make that. Where are you? Yeah. I might even make that just a bit smaller so it just doesn't run out quite so fast. Because it'll give probably a little bit more control, I'm thinking. And of course, if I let it get too close, it's going to uh, come out and join up with the next one. So hopefully that won't happen, but it could. And if it does, it does. I do, actually I am finding it a lot easier, cutting that smaller hole. Yeah, much easier. 
And actually now I can make this one a bit bigger anyway. Okay, that's our, oops, sorry, it's that orange one. And we'll do a yellow one again. Just a bit of the end there. but enough to be seen. It's quite easy to work with. It's just a matter, I guess, of having control of it. Now, there's nothing to stop you from actually spooning it on. I haven't tried it, but I mean, yes, you could definitely do that. Which one will go maybe here? And to balance things up, maybe we'll do one maybe over here. It's a bit too close to the side. And of course, it wants to run down, doesn't it? So now we go. If it runs down, it runs down. Lesson to be learnt. Okay, just pop that into the yellow one. Yeah, we have got a couple of merging ones here, but never mind. we've got our beautiful blush rose. Such a gorgeous colour. close to the other pink there but it was a gap so Oops, I just thought I'd pop it in there. a bit didn't come out very well on this end here I might just cut it just a little bit shorter better good 
Okay, so now I'm looking at these and thinking, what else can I add in? Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll put a bit of orange here. Others are merging into each other and I'd really rather to keep it clean but anyway it is what it is so we've got a merger here and we've got a couple here probably because these ones here I poured too much onto the board but anyway gives you a bit of an idea we can have different sizes and shapes and things like that and see what happens um, else we can put wherever else. I might overload it but I do want to use up this resin as soon as I've mixed it up. Hopefully I haven't put it too close to that one. Anyway, I think that's okay. Orange, we've got that, we've got that. Okay, look, I'm going to leave it at that, I think, because it's going to be a bit messy anyway. So let's leave it, and I'll wait for a little while, and I'll come back and I'll do the next layer. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to show you now that we've got these mixed up. I'm just going to do little round circles. Not too big. did do this is the second one uh, the other piece I I went too big on one of the colors and they were merging and I still had quite a bit of this resin left over with colors in it so I thought right let's quickly put it onto another board and see what we can do so that's what I'm doing just having a bit of fun just playing So this is the sweet corn. And I'm not putting anything in any particular order. I can feel this warming up. Because obviously it's been a, a while now. But I thought rather than waste it, let's do something with it. if this one's warming up they'll all be warming up which means it's starting to uh, go off okay and this gorgeous 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 blush rose i just love sorry i'm just trying to squeeze it down a bit because it went the other way and it's sort of squeezed up anyway and i can feel it getting warm through my gloves so it's definitely starting that curing process. I don't know how much more I can get of this one because oops, it's um it's not that much in here. It wasn't it doesn't seem to be as much as the others, but then possibly because it when I squeezed it, it kind of unwound and went the other way. So maybe there's just more up in the tail of it, which if it's sort of starting to go off, it's not, not good for us. But we'll see what we can do. Now we're desperately trying to get the last of something. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm trying to do here. Okay. 
and that one's a funny shape so we'll just maybe make him a bigger circle but hopefully we can get it a bit more circular than what I had it oops now it's getting to be bigger because I'm trying to correct it but anyway there. Maybe just one more little one somewhere. It's getting very sticky now for sure. I don't know what the proper working time is on it but I would think you'd have to be fairly quick with it. It is fun though, doing something a bit different like this. And you can put any color combination in. I just wanted to show you these gorgeous new powders to be released very soon. So this was the perfect way to show you the colors while using this product because the lovely Samantha asked for it. Okay, let's do... It's getting very sticky, as you can see. Be okay. I mean, we're going to put another colour over the top of this anyway. On each of them, I've decided. Just to, you know, play and try something a little different. not running so much now because it's hot and it's sort of virtually going off I suppose as we're pouring but it's all right, all right. I'll just put this other great fern color which this one was in a, um, I cut it bigger so I'll just have to be a little bit careful how I do it and this one's really quite warm now so get it because it's so stringy now it um, <laughs> wants to pull up Come on. That's it. but uh, what I do like about this is that certainly the heights um, holding a bit better so it's probably not a bad idea to let it you know, start to get warm. And if you're doing a really big piece, then I would suggest the way to do that would be to do multiple uh, mixing sessions rather than mix up a whole heap at the beginning. Maybe over here. Well, it's good being able to experiment with these things and try them. I haven't done a lot with this resin. I mean, I have used it in my geodes and I really liked it. I've used it on cheese boards and I really like the effect there as well. But I haven't so much done you know, in, in the way of like dot art, what we're having a play with now.
back everybody we're back and uh, we've left a little time now and uh, I did come over this one with my little torch and I did notice that little bubbles popped up and appeared so maybe it's not necessarily a good idea to do that but anyway um, yep, it, it looks fine so what I've done now I've mixed the resin up the next lot um, I'm going to pour it into the cups that I have uh, got here ready with the piping bags in and then we'll pop in the next four colours. There's gorgeous ones and we'll see how it all turns out. It certainly is a lot of fun playing around with something a bit different rather than doing the same old things. Oh, I water in my hair. Not a good look. <laughs> okay. So you can't see it, it's off camera, but anyway, so all I've done is, is pop them into the bag. Now I'm gonna put the colors in. So we'll start with this one called Phantom Blue. I think it's gonna be so gorgeous for oceans. So that's the Phantom Blue. I'm just gonna put in around. Oh, you know what I'm doing? Silly me. I've just realized brain fade. I've put it <laughs> straight into here rather than into the cup and mixed it up properly first. Goodness gracious me. Oh, God. Um, I'll just mix it around and see if I can fix it. Leave it into that. I, thought I might be able to. I was getting all excited, wasn't I? Such a gorgeous colour, it truly, truly is. Make sure it's mixed up properly. It's in. Hmm, might be alright. Oh well, we'll give it a whirl and see how it works out. Uh, the only other thing I can do is cut off the end and squeeze it into the cups and do it that way, um, which I can do. Perhaps I will. Um, sorry, everyone. Silly me. I'm just going to cut off the end. You can see it just there. Oh, maybe I'll come over here, you can see it a bit more. And all I'm going to do oops, is squeeze it into that little cup. I'll mix it up and then I'll put it into a, another piping bag. Only because I, want to, I really do want to know that it's mixed up properly. And I don't know that kind of mixing it up in the piping bag sitting in the car is going to get to it all so best to play safe oh dearie dearie me all right okay so we'll do the next color which is a gorgeous gorgeous purple we called it uh, purple luster I believe and it is so pretty. You can see a bit of a shimmer there, but it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So again, just um, stirring, just gently to make sure it's all incorporated with the resin. And then once it's incorporated, give it a good mix. Such a beautiful colour, look at that. Beautiful. Now, I will get this phantom blue and I will see if I can 
sort it out, cut the end off and squeeze that into the cup and give it a good mix to make sure, once again, that it is really mixed properly. It's a gorgeous colour. Love it, love it, love it. Getting so excited when I was decanting these the other day. Just love colour. Which is, of course, why we're called uh, Colour Passion. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, that's better. Just to make sure it's all, oh, it's all mixed up. Phantom Blue. All right, so that's that one. Now, I'll mix the next one up, which I also love. Right. If you can see it there, but I love it. Anyway, look, all I'm doing is emptying out that piping bag into the little cup. It's nice to know, isn't it, that you're not perfect? Oh, I'm not perfect. <laughs> not by a long shot. But I'm honest. Very honest with you all. And, you know, sometimes things don't go according to plan, especially when we're filming. And I was just so excited to get this done because I've got to go out shortly. And I thought, oh, I'm just, I don't want to wait, you know. I just wanted to come and have a play so that I could show you guys how this is all right now we've got aqua frost is our next one beautiful beautiful it's gonna be a great ocean color i can see it okay okay so again just very gently stirring until i've got that powder incorporated with the resin Once it is, give it a good stir. That is gorgeous. Look at it. Put a few little air bubbles in there, but that's to be expected from all the vigorous stirring that I gave. All right, so now we've got the last one coming up. Oops. It's running out pretty easy actually. It's gosh, it's like milking cows. <laughs> if anybody else is a farmer, farmer wife or daughter granddaughter you might know what i'm talking about hence i grew up on a farm in the south of western australia okay so now i'm going to do this one and this one's called ash so that's ash so it's a it's a silvery ashy color And there's one that I haven't mixed up, and it's um, it's called um, graphite, and it's darker than the ash, but it's not as dark as the black, so it's kind of in between, if that makes sense. So again, I'm just gently mixing up the powder until it's incorporated, and then we give it a good mix. Now, we're ready to put it into the piping bags. But I will pull out now very quickly and pop into the cups. Okay. So I've got the camera set where I want it, so I'll just let this go for now, guys. Oh, 
you can fast forward if you wish while I'm doing this step. I know it's not very exciting. But just get it in here for you. I never get bored of colour, ever. And every resin pour, I really enjoy. I don't like the results of them sometimes, but I enjoy doing the creating side of it because the resin has a mind of its own. So please don't get disheartened if you try something a couple of times and you're getting frustrated. Don't be, don't beat yourself up on it because it's really, it's really um, trial and error sometimes. I know that a lot of people have trouble with getting waves, for example, for their uh, beaches and ocean pours. So just, just little things like that. It's practice, it's time. Different things affect it. Like, for example, the brand of resin that you're using affects it. The uh, particular paste that you're using affects it. And that's why, uh, with Colour Passion, we have really gone to quite a bit of bother in sorting out a resin that assists you to, to lay effortlessly. And that's uh, it's taken quite a long time to work through that process to get one we're happy with. And we have it now, which is great. Okay, so the next one here is this gorgeous Aqua Frost. I actually have got to do an ocean pour with these colours because they're just gorgeous. I do love my aquas and my blues, I must confess, as you all know. Okay, so we just pop that off there. Okay, again, we just sort of squeeze it down. And then we twist it. And I'm just popping it in the cup until I'm ready to grab it, and then I'll snip off the end. Um, okay, next one. It's gorgeous phantom blue. Lovely. Oh, 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 oh. Gee whiz, dribbling it. I'm anxious now because I'm sort of uh, trying to rush it a bit. So, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Gosh, look at that. Got it all over the top. Never mind. We have a cloth. We can easily fix that up. So it's like new once again. These were just little bits that we put in the jars anyway. All right, there we go. And some more colour after this to do, and then we can begin the fun part, the piping part. So just pushing this down to the bottom, twisting it again, and just going to pop it in the cup till I'm ready. And then we've got this gorgeous purple, which I love, love, love. I'm going to Sorry. Purple luster, and it is just beautiful. I love purples. I have lots of colours. I mean, my blues and aquas are probably my favourites, but I mean, I really do love pinks and purples as well. And then when you get, you know, your reds and blacks together, I love those too. So, gosh, I don't know. Love them all. I'm like a little kid in a lolly shop when I go to work. Go back to the warehouse. Okay, so again, I'm just twisting it. Popping it into the cup. Okay, now we're ready for our next step. And our next step is to, oops, not that, 
is to pop it over the top. I'll choose a little bit there, never mind. So now I've got to think about, is there any better colour than another? Well, it's hard to say, really. Um, sometimes, you know, the opposite sides of the colour wheel, um, you can play with there. Um, or you can just think, oh, I'll just try this and see what happens. So I think we're just going to do that today. What do you think? Try it and see what happens. Right, I'm just going to snip the end of the Aquafrost. I think we'll start with that one. And I think we might, might put that onto... I'll do that one. That's all right. I'm just thinking, thinking, thinking. What colours have we got? We've got purple, we've got silver, we've got blue. You know what? I'm going to put it over this colour. I mean, actually, it doesn't really matter. I could put it over a number of them so we can see different ones. What it looks like with this colour or that colour. There we go. So it doesn't matter at all. Oh, damn. Messed that one up, didn't I? Okay. Now, yeah. oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So I'll just keep going for the moment. To the next one. And then I can come back maybe and see if I can wipe that. Oh, we're going to make more of a mess of it, probably. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll mind we've got two more colours to go, so I've got quite a few of the yellow ones, the, the sweet corn. So let's put some purple luster over that one. Purple and yellow are actually quite nice together. Okay, so make that one. Okay, gorgeous blue. Yeah. Blush rose. So this is the phantom blue. I'm being a bit messy, aren't I? Let's have a look. We'll put it on yellow. Our sweet corn. And I might try some on this colour as well, which is that unusual colour called Grape Fern. Oops, I think I've put a bit much on there. It's going to roll off a bit. Oh, well. I wasn't sure there was going to be enough contrast, to be honest, with this um, silver. But it's not too bad. A little bit on the blush rose. It could be like a pink and grey color, couldn't it? Pink and grey goes nice together, or silver. What else have we got? Yellow. Um, Shall we put it on? I haven't put some of the others on that other colour, so let's try. We have put it actually on that one, haven't we? Sorry, we did put it on that one. But we didn't put this one on. The pink. I mean, sorry, the purple. Purple luster. Mm. Alright. Put 
some on this yellow eye. Sweet corn. Then maybe a purple. We've already done purple on the sweet corn, but I'll just put another one on here. Very good. Um, we've got one more left to do, so maybe we'll do this on here. Aqua frost onto grape fern. Very good. Now I'll we'll turn this around and see if I can save this mess here that I run over the edge on. Not sure that I can, but we'll give it a go just to tidy it up a little bit. A little bit better than that bit there because I was being messy. All right, well, that saved it a little bit, hasn't it? Okie dokie. That one I think I did a um, bit too heavy handed with the top one as well. But I don't really know how I can fix that um, unless I've sort of got a spatch and I've tried to scoop some off a little bit. Ah. <laughs> so you know what? Sometimes you should just leave it alone and just let it be. So what have I done? I've drizzled it over here now, haven't I? Anyway, look, I'm sure you get the idea, even though I've messed it a little bit. There we go, it's not too bad now. It's just a matter of playing and, you know, putting them on and, um, you know, this is very fresh, so I probably could have let it cure fully uh, and then come back. So I'm just gonna pop that to one side. And the first one that I did, I'm just gonna come back now and I'm going to put some colours on here. Oops. I wasn't very happy with this one, but anyway, as I said, we've made the resin up, so we might as well pop it on, use it up. else fails we can always sand it and you know do something else with it a bit sticky again and when it gets sticky it sort of drips off a little bit just like it's done for the last three times there I think this one's just wasn't meant to be oh now that one's all right um okay I've got a bit of purple here and there we'll put one on here I mean, I'm learning as I'm doing this because I've not done it before. So here I put way too much on that one. So I need to do something about that. 
Oh, I did that a bit. Pushing that around. Now I want to wear a pink and grey galah. Oh gosh, look, I've done it again. Goodness me. <laughs> I am making a mess. So, so sorry. Still a little bit soft, so because while I'm here, I might as well just give that a bit of a wipe. Gosh, this one's just horrible. It's whole pieces. But sometimes, you know what? It's the way it is. Yeah, that's that one there. I'll put some ash onto that again in a moment. Just tidy it up a little bit. And this is the mess here. Look at this. Gosh. I'm wondering how I can get around it. Maybe if I take some of this off so it's just not going to run quite as much, perhaps. The underneath is still a bit soft, whereas if it had fully cured, then you could wipe it quite easily. So, you know, that's another lesson learnt as well if you wanted to try this. Don't do what I'm doing. And as I read the, the um, instructions and it said 20 minutes, you can put your next layer on. But, but maybe, oh gosh, with the exception of this one, because I think... Um, you could do that like for a, um, goodness me, now I've really mucked it up, sorry, um, with a geode or something like that. Okay. I don't know if there's any way around fixing this because I've mucked it up with the proper. Annoyed with myself. At least if you guys do this at home and you muck it up, no one's going to know. But of course, I'm showing you everything. My failures included. This one here, I'm just not happy with it all. So, anyway. Maybe we'll just pop a little bit more on the top here. To cover up, perhaps, that and see what happens. we've got here we've got some a bit of blue and orange but um, and as we've got purple we've got oh it's gorgeous blue we haven't done that yet okay let's just put some on here doing this purely to finish off this resin but it'll probably end up going in the bin because <laughs> I'm not happy with what I've done with it at all since I messed up that section there but anyway some ash on the orange on the pumpkin
purple luster over grape fern. I must say, as you go, you kind of do get the feel of it a lot better. Just the manipulating of the piping bag. I am finding it a little bit easier. Plus, this has been sitting a while, so it's actually getting easier to work with because it's not so liquid. Okay. more on this other gorgeous flushed rose with our phantom blue over that and leave it at that I think Oops. as I say I've made made a little botch up there and I'm not quite sure how I can fix that but we'll see everybody let's let this cure and tomorrow I'll show you the reveal hello there everybody this is the morning after uh, the night before doing our our dot art um, look I'm quite happy with the way this turned out I ended up there was a spot I can't even see where it was now it was a, it went a bit skew with and I tidied it up with just a cotton bud and some alcohol isopril alcohol and it, it tidied it up beautifully so um, there we are. So, I mean, I learned a lot. This was my first go at this. So I think I mentioned earlier on in the tutorial that I would, if I was doing an art piece, I'd put a whole color, let that cure. Then I would put, you know, the dot art on top of that. Um, I mean, you could do whatever you wanted to do. Um, I would also leave this a bit longer before um, I squeezed it through the, the um, I'm going to say pipette, but through the, sorry, piping bag. Um, just so that it's just got a, a little bit more thickness to it and it'll probably hold a bit higher. Having said that, I mean, my first go on this one here, which I'm not happy with, but cause, mainly because of that one, but I mean, yeah, the rest aren't too bad. Um, and I, I did uh, find it easier. I think these sort of sat up a bit better. So there you go. That's um, a little, little something different. And uh, yeah, so we've got that. Now, I wanted to show you the board that I did that I put the edges on. So um, this is probably, look, it's neatened it up, but um, it's probably a bit thick. That's the only thing I would say. Sorry, turn this around. That's the only thing I would say. Um, so that's that one. And then that's the bottom there. And again, I couldn't uh, manipulate it and do waves and things because I had to follow that line. So that's that one. And the other one, I'm really, really happy with this one. This is the, the cheese ball we did. And we did it in the Red Robin. And I believe it was the Ebony Luster. And, um, and I used the Soft Gold for the Swizzle. So bring it down so you can see it a bit better. That colour is absolutely gorgeous, that Red Robin. Gee, I love it. So, so pretty. I'm, I'm really happy with this. I'm glad I didn't put the white on it. Very, very happy. Okay, so that's that piece there. Now, the other thing, I'll just talk back up again. The other thing that I wanted to just show you with our new colors which they'll be out the powder colors they'll be out shortly they are going to come in the two sizes so we've got a 25 gram and we've got a 40 gram so it'll be the usual ten dollars fifty and fifteen fifty for the 40 gram so and you'll notice we've now in the powders we're coming with the black lids and that is because though we love the gold ones but they just didn't transport that easily and they dented easily so we find this is a, a, a better fit so and we've got obviously this another one to show you the purple luster love these two colors actually they're just gorgeous 25 gram 40 gram so now watch out because it'll be at the beginning of august we're going to have a special launching offer for these 
Uh, and now I'm not allowed to tell you, I'm sworn to secrecy, but it will be on the larger sized one at this point. So there we go. There's a bit of news for you. Okay, everybody. Look, I hope you've enjoyed this and got something out of it. And uh, I look forward to your delightful company at the next tutorial. And remember, if you don't give it a go, you'll never, never know. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and give it a go. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye for now.